This is your WCIA3 forecast first, sponsored by Route 66 Solar. That is a view over Danville. Notice the clouds that have kind of mixed in uh, up that way here uh, this afternoon. Not producing a whole lot. There were a couple little sprinkles out there, but the clouds have kept our temperature down. Feels really good. 85 in Champaign, 87 in Springfield. Still feels like the 90s in a few spots. The humidity factored in. It's going to be an okay night. I say okay because temperatures are still going to be around 80 degrees at 9 o'clock. Uh, but it is better than what we had yesterday. Got some rain in the forecast. Small chances of maybe a thunderstorm or two. But it's the heat that cranks even more later this week, which I will talk about coming up as WCA3 News starts right now. You're watching your local news leader. This is WCIA3 News at 6. The Urbana City Council is trying to get one step closer in finalizing their budget for next year. A sticking point, what the city is willing to pay for its police force. Good evening, I'm Brendan Morano. And I'm Jennifer Roscoe. Tonight is an extension of last night's meeting. They didn't finish because public comment ran too long. The main point of conversation revolved around police funding. WCI3's Jack Crum live in Urbana. Jack, so when do they have to have this year's budget finalized? Unused and discarded tires can be a breeding ground for mosquitoes, how you can get rid of them. Plus, the gamble to lower slot machine prices, why one Savoy Club wants to pay less so they can give more. Right after this. You're watching your local news leader. This is WCIA 3 News at 6.30. One Central Illinois club is trying to get their slot machine fees reduced. Champaign-Urbana Elks Lodge in Savoy will be suggesting new prices that will help them in the long run. Coming up, we're going to let you know what we're working on for our 10 o'clock newscast. Plus, one final check of your seven-day forecast with Kevin. The Central Illinois Hospital System is getting nationally recognized. What they scored high in to better serve their patients. That's coming up tonight at 10. Seven day forecast. Boy, some heat and humidity coming our way the next several days. We've got 96 on Thursday and 97 for a high coming up here on Friday. Uh, there's your weekend. Maybe the chances of the rain go up a little bit on Sunday, but it's just going to remain warm here for us. It's not anything extraordinary and, uh, you know, out of uh, what we have ever seen before, but it's definitely pretty warm out there here to wrap up the week. All right, Kevin, thank you. And thank you for joining us. We'll see you again at 9 and 10.